Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be doing a short tutorial on how to create your own barcode scanning app that transfer the data from the barcode scanner to Google Sheets. So here are some of the software prerequisites that you should have for this tutorial. So all of this software is available online. You do not need to download anything at all. Okay, so how does it work? So firstly, you need the MIT App Inventor to create your own Android app. So this will provide user with the graphical user interface to assess the barcode scanning. And next, you need to pass your data to Google Apps Script, which serves as a middleware for the communication between your Android app and Google Sheets. And lastly, your Google Sheets will serve as a database to store your data. Okay, so now let's go to MIT App Inventor. So you just need to go to Google search MIT and Inventor over here. And over here you just click create apps. Okay, continue, close. So when you reach this page, go back to my presentation slide and go to this, this link here to download the software that I have created for you. So once you reach here, you just need to click this button, download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, go to MIT and Inventor, go to my project and import .aia file for my computer. So over here, qr.aia, click that and press OK. Okay, so once your project is uploaded, you reach this page. So allow me to explain how does the software works. So the software has two inputs. First is from the barcode scanner, which currently has no result. And next is a drop down input that have a list of countries over here. And there's another button over here to start the barcode scanner. Okay, so let's see the source code for it. So you just need to click blocks over here. So over here, when the scanner button is pressed, you will activate the barcode scanner to scan for any QR code or barcode. So after scanning, you will return a result. So this result will be passed to the label 1 over here. So, so instead of no result, you will be replaced with the barcode scanner result. And next, it will send the data, the barcode data, to the app script over here so now I need you to delete this link first and leave it blank okay so you will send the barcode scanner result over here and the country data to the app script link okay so now go to this link to download the app script source code that I've created for you so just replace this with the app script link and click enter so once you reach this page I need you to create a copy of this source code to your own Google Drive. So over here, you can name it as my barcode scanner. So over here, if you see this link, I need you to delete it because this is your Google Sheets database link. So let's delete it first. We'll fill it up later on. Okay, so lastly, you need to create your own Google Sheets to host the data. So what you need to do is to go to Google Drive Okay, create new Google Sheets. So for here, you just need to type in date, time, barcode, and country. Okay, I need you to rename your sheets, sheet one to barcode, this is very important. And next, let's change this name to barcode database. Okay, so once everything is done, go to file and click share and change to anyone with this link. So after doing so, just click done. Okay, so once you finish, copy and paste this link over here to the app script over here. Okay, so once it's done, control 
as to save it and click publish click deploy as web app and update it review permissions use your google drive account and go advanced and click this allow okay so once it's deployed copy this link again and go to MIT App Inventor over here. So now replace this with the app script link. So once you are done, go to build and click provide QR code for APK. Okay, so once it's compiled, you will see the QR code over here. Use your Android phone, it must be an Android phone, and scan the QR code here and you'll be able to download the app that you have just created. So now, allow me to demonstrate how it works. So basically, you scan and you'll be into Google Sheets. Okay, so with this, I've come to the end of my tutorial. So if you like my content, do remember to subscribe and thank you for your time.